Hi, this is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Eastern Henrico. More specifically, I am in Sandston, which is not far from the Richmond International Airport. And today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two full bath rancher. This rancher is located here on just a touch over a third of an acre. We've got a good looking starter home neighborhood here and a beautiful, beautiful September day. Uh, this home is slightly elevated as you can see. We've got a little hill there uh, going up and a lot of the homes out here have two car detached garages. And um, I was just looking across the street. A gentleman is getting ready to finish his. Uh, he's got a contractor that's currently working. Uh, of course, this house and the house uh, next door have already have two car garages. When we go inside, I'm going to show you some things about the floor plan, but I noticed this here. We can see that line there and up top. This is an addition. And uh, unfortunately, often when homes have additions, the floor plans are kind of quirky sometimes. I immediately noticed that when I was inside the home that it didn't flow like it was built as a four bedroom, two bath home. But we do have a deck back here and an additional storage building as you can see as well. Okay, we're gonna go on back in the front door. Uh, this home is only on the market for 115,000. The county feels it's worth about 167,000. So there is some definite room in here. If this is the, if or excuse me, if you're type of person that doesn't have a problem with doing some work, uh, putting in some sweat equity, uh, this might be a, the house for you. There is financing available that will allow you to combine the purchase price and the renovation together into one convenient loan. You can do whatever you need to do as far as getting this home to meet your standards. Okay, as we come in, we have good looking wood floors. They do need to be refinished, but they seem to be in pretty good shape. And one of the first things I noticed is we've got baseboard here. Baseboards can be fueled by either natural gas or oil here in our area and oil is not necessarily the preferred method uh, in this area for heating uh, oil prices do fluctuate it's not the cleanest uh, or the most efficient way to heat here in our area uh, we have our formal dining area here but before we go there i'm going to take you down the hall show you the bedroom space first uh, to the right we have a little linen closet our full bath is right here. As you can see, we've fairly dated. Uh, there is a coating that will actually change this tile color and you can transform uh, that into the color that you choose. Max Williams will be replacing that shower head if you use me as your buyer's agent, as is customary for me. And we've got a little linen closet right here. One of the things I wanted to chat about today was the process of inspections. Um, as you are probably aware, there are some inspections that take place whenever an individual is buying a home. Some of them are mandatory and some of them are optional. Uh, one of the first things that happens as far as inspection, it's not really called an inspection, but it is an inspection in my eyes. Um, this room, before I go there, this room actually has a doorway to that back room, which is really questionable as far as size. Um, they're calling this a fourth bedroom. I'm a little on the fence on whether it's really large enough. And there is access from that way. The full bath is there to the right. We're going to go back through, but I just wanted to give you orientation. Um, many of the inspections uh, that happen um, actually start with the initial viewing of the home. Um, when I'm working with a buyer and we are taking the initial walkthrough, the buyer's uh, falling in love with the floor plan or the uh, amenities of the property, how it looks, how it shows. I'm not necessarily looking at that. I'm looking at functional things that are telltale signs that there are issues or that a home is well taken care of and in good repair. And um, I'll give you an example here momentarily. Um, we're of course going back through our formal dining room here and our kitchen is to our left. Um, fortunately, it looks like they have done some work here in the kitchen. Those are newer kitchen cabinets. We've got a high definition laminate countertop. And then over here on this side, another complement of cabinets. And we've got a nice informal 
dining space here in this kitchen as well. This is laminate on the floor. It looks like wood, but it's not. And here is our oil furnace. Now, this is one of the things that I wanted to chat about. When I look at this, I immediately know that this is an oil furnace and that there's no air conditioning. I've already checked for registers and there aren't any. So I know this home does not have central air. Right down here, we have a little filter. That filter is the key in addition to the oil tank that's in the rear that this is fueled by oil. The other telltale sign is we've got this flu. And whenever we have a flu, we know that some type of exhaust gas is le leaving the unit, whether it be hot water radiator or a gas furnace. So this is oil radiator. There are some parts of the country where that is very, very common for heating and cooling because they don't have the ability to use heat pumps. Um, we've got a nice big breaker box here. So I know our electrical has been upgraded, which is also a nice cost savings. The space here for your washer and dryer. Now, the average person may walk through and may not even realize that this home doesn't have central air. Central air in this home is about a seven or $8,000 proposition. And part of that would also change out that heating system to give you a nice modern heat pump uh, here in this home. Okay, we are now in the family room area. And this of course is part of the addition. When this home was transformed, we do have a wood burning fireplace that is right there. And we're gonna go back. This is the actual room that I showed you earlier here to our left. Uh, this room we saw earlier, uh, straight ahead is that hallway and coming right back here to that last bedroom. Uh, getting back to my initial statement about the inspections, uh, I'm looking for all types of things. Uh, as I mentioned, the other formal inspection is done by a licensed inspector here in Virginia. They must be not licensed now and they will come back with a probably a 15 page report that outlines everything that they find. And some of the things are going to be nickel dime things that a $50 fix and some of them could be major, major deficiencies. Buyer and seller then negotiate on those items and decide who's gonna do what or if they're gonna do anything. In the case of a bank or government owned home, pretty much you do it all. You accept or decline the purchase once you have that inspection on a bank and government owned home. If it's a traditional arm's length sale with a regular seller, then buyer and seller negotiate back and forth and then see if they can work something out. Uh, in addition, there's a termite inspection. We call it a termite. Actually, they check for wood destroying insects and those insects can also be powder post beetles uh, and some others in addition to traditional termites. Um, those are your main inspections. If you're dealing with a house that has well and septic, there are some additional inspections that go along with those. But around here, I don't have a whole lot of well and septic transactions, but those are some of the things that are in place for you to have protections that you're getting exactly what you're bargaining for when dealing with a real estate purchase. If you or anyone you know has questions about this or any other home in the market, even if you're not in my area, just as long as you're in my country, I'd be happy to help. We can put you in touch with a good qualified agent that'll work with you, get you a great deal in your part of the country. Max Williams, 402. 7788. I can be reached on Facebook, Richmond Area Foreclosures, on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.